Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is Kurt. I'm back. And I'm just going to jump right into it with my first movie review. 1408 with John Cusack and Samuel L. Jackson. Who else was in it? Tony Shalhoub was in it, too. I've decided on a system that I'm going to use uh, with all the reviews. It's going to be very quick, very uh, to the point, precise, no you know gimmicks or anything. I'm going to watch the movie, and then when it's over, uh, just do some point form on things I liked, things I didn't like, pros and cons, I guess. And um, then after that, just give an overall score out of 10. So score out of 10 seemed pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Everyone gets an idea on my wavelength, where I'm coming from. I guess I'll start off with the, uh, with the pros, what, you know, what I liked about the movie. And what better place to start than with uh, pro number one? And that's the, the overall atmosphere of the movie, the general vibe I got from the movie I really enjoyed. The isolation that Michael Enslin, uh, who is played by John Cusack, um, the isolation that he goes through in the film uh, is, is really effective, really convincing. Um, obviously, you know, being stuck in this room for four-fifths of the movie, I'm really glad that I never got bored. The tone really sticks with you uh, throughout, which is great. Pro 2 for me would be the effects of the movie. Uh, I really liked how it wasn't all CGI. It, you know, it was mostly practical effects. You know, makeup or um, physical events happening that didn't require you know a, a multi zillion dollar effects team to come in. When they did use the computer effects, they used them sparingly and to enhance um, scenes and not outright take over them. Pro 3 would be John Cusack himself. Uh, for a role where you really aren't interacting with many actors for the majority, it's just you in a room, um, it, it worked. He played it very well. Like I said before, a main theme of the movie is um, Michael's isolation and complete sense of being alone um, in this room, unable to get out. So watching John Cusack lose his mind for an hour and a half was really fun, really convincing. He played it very well, not over the top, which he could have easily done. Samuel L. Jackson is really good, too, in his role. Um, it's a small role, but uh, he plays it very well. There's a part, there's a conversation between him and uh, him and Michael Enslin just before Michael enters 1408. And it's really fun to watch these two play off each other with uh, John Cusack being very persistent, really wanted to go in the room and, um, you know, see for himself uh, what goes on in there. And then uh, Samuel L. Jackson, who plays the hotel manager, uh, you know, trying his best, doing everything he can to keep uh, John out of the room. It was really quick, really witty, um, but still set up the tension of you know the the horrible shit that really goes on inside this room. All right, well that does it for uh, my pros. So let's get into the cons, the what I didn't like about the movie. And to start it off, I'd say uh, it's the beginning of the movie, uh, the setup, the introduction to uh, Michael Enslin, his character, his job, what he does. Um, we learn he's a, a writer, a paranormal writer, which works well as a concept, but it never really grabbed my attention. It just seemed to be filler, let's do 20 minutes of not scary stuff before he goes into the hotel. And it just, it really didn't work for me. But once he does get to the hotel, everything picks up and the movie becomes great. Con number two, I'd have to say, is the score, or lack thereof, uh, within within the film. There really isn't much of a musical soundtrack going on throughout. It mainly sticks to tired horror cliches of, you know, you, you go for the jump scare and the, the strings will hit that high-pitched note to really accentuate it, and it all works, but it's all been done before. There's nothing new, so I just felt it was bland, I guess, for lack of a better word. Number three for me would have to be the uh, girl actress who played uh, the daughter of Michael Enslin. 
she just irked me um, for a reason I can't really explain. I just didn't didn't like her. It's not that I didn't buy her um, in the role. She acted it solidly, but very um, annoyingly. She seemed like every every grade school girl that you always hated as a kid. That's how she was. Lastly, I have to say uh, a con for me is the fact that while being a horror movie, it isn't really scary um, in, 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 in the sense that I wasn't you know, terrified for the, the 90 or 95 minutes that, that this movie was. It's, it's tense. There's moments where you know, you're gripping onto the couch cushion um, with, with suspense. But it, it's it was never fear for me. There was the jump scares that'll you know make your heart race a little bit, but they're they're in all scary movies and all work. But the the overall movie just didn't have the the fear um, that I was kind of going in hoping for. But thinking about it, I kind of like the movie like that. It, it's it's very much a a suspense thriller um, movie. It just, I guess, kind of got pegged wrong by being called a horror movie. It could be uh, for other people. I'm sure it was a scary movie for, you know, many different people from me. Uh, but it just, it didn't bring the terror that I um, was going in kind of expecting. But overall, I'm gonna have to say it was uh, a really, really great, solid film, well acted. Um, you know, aside from the the few problems, uh, it really worked. It really entertained me, which I mean, that's what movies are for, right? Uh, so I'm gonna say a solid eight out of ten. Um, not very much. I can't recommend uh, in this film. You, you know, if, if you're a fan of ghost stories, haunted house uh, tales, then this movie will entertain you. Maybe not scare you, but definitely entertain. You. Alright guys, well I guess that's it. Uh, this is my first ever review. And uh, hopefully it won't be the last one. Because this was fun. Uh, so I'll see you later. My next movie uh, will be continuing with the numerical alphabetical order. Before we get to the actual letters. Will be 28 Days Later. Which is a great movie. Uh, I'm reviewing it early, but... You know, come on. It's a great movie. So I'll see you then, and uh, stay frosty.